Well, this is my new setup outside doing my aeroponics. I've got the tub here is open uh, so you can see it working. I'll be covering that up, you know, of course. Uh, it's a smaller tub than what I wanted to use, but it uh, seems to be working just fine. So, if I need another one, they're only six bucks. But here's my setup, and I picked these tubs up at Home Depot. They're on sale. Christmas stuff, you know. I think I paid $4.10 a piece for them. Uh, and then I've got it going around the corner here. All these will be filled up with plants here shortly. I've got pepper seeds coming. Right now, here's a dry in. There's nothing running in here. There's water going through that pipe right now. And here's the setup that I got going. As you can see, the lid is just hydrated. I mean, we have two sprays. This is one continuous pipe going right in through. These are the only connections right here. And uh, angles. As you can see, I've got closed loop system going right here, and that goes all the way down. Two sprays. I'm going to be filling these up with plants today. That's why I want to show you. I did this over the weekend, or over this week. Probably could have did it all in a day, two days at most, building everything. The lettuce I had going on a drip system. I had to move it outside. I was running out of room elsewhere for them. And the roots aren't coming out, but we're going to probably see shortly. Um, I can already see that they're responding well to the aeroponics. A lot better than what they were doing in the drip. Um, I was experimenting to see how plants would survive in a, just a drip and low pressure, but wasn't getting the results that I wanted. Um, this lettuce will go into another system that I got that I'm going to be adding on to this. Um, it's a bucket system that I was using out here for the drip, and I'm just going to convert it and put the buckets right down through here. <laughs> and there'll be five buckets, and they're going to hold my lettuce and my low, low growing stuff. But um, here again. The lid is just loaded with water. So it's got a good drain. Um, the drain system I made myself. Um, got a pipe right here. I just strapped it in. Everything I had was laying around my house. I made this with. Put my own end cap on there. It's holding. The drains are three quarter inch, so if any hydrogen gets down through there, it'll hopefully go through. <clears throat> like I haven't even sealed up the pipe shut because I plan on adding on on. So this is the only leak that I've got happening. But so far, so good. I like it. It's going to be expandable. Um, I'm going to be able to put more tubs on here if I would choose to. Uh, I think this will be adequate for right now. But the pump in here is a thousand gallon per hour pump. Standard aquarium pump. Pick them up fairly cheap. Shop around. And uh, three quarter inch pipes, fittings and stuff that you need to do this setup right here. Is at your local hardware store at Home Depot. Just the same. So, that's about it for now.
next I'll be putting some plants in and we'll do another update video on that and we'll uh, through the growing season we're going to show the growth performance uh, on the blog doing videos um, so Yeah, this is my setup. It's after a couple weeks, it's June 1st. Here's the lettuce. It's uh, I showed off on the first video. Just to give you an idea of the roots and how they've come along. And you can see that they've gotten down pretty good and they're looking really nice, white and healthy. Jack Frost, man, really hurt me bad. Right, here's a two tomato plants that survived her, survived him, Mother Nature. And we got tomatoes here, and uh, these are uh, the lettuce. But I don't know if you can see the spray. I just have a single spray in there uh, that's covering all these younger plants uh, to make sure that we get these are down. These lids are down. Um, and here's the pepper plants. I'll be separating these and taking these and putting them over on this side here down the road. This flower here was just a cutting we found in the parking lot when we were buying groceries. Put it in here just to see if we could root it. Uh, right here, this is the spinach. It's taken off, finally. I don't know what it is. I have a hard time growing spinach. And we have some basil down here too, but um, other than that, this is the setup. Down here is the holding tank, the reservoir. And we've got four inch, three inch PVC coming in on that, and on the bottom five gallon buckets here, I used a one and a quarter inch um, irrigation type pipe um, that I had laying around. Everything here is pretty much that I had laying around. The only thing I've went and really purchased is the pipe, the white pipe here, the half inch pipe. Um, the sprays, I got some more sprays, and these tubs, and we picked those up at Home Depot for like under five bucks a piece. And so, total, you know, not a whole lot of money into this. These black lids for these five gallon buckets are at Home Depot. Very inexpensive, $1.29 or something like that. Um, but uh, so far, everything's been going really well out here. Um, for moving it outside, uh, not bad. But uh, the only thing that's really killed me is Mother Nature and Jack Frost. So, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm liking it. You can see here, you know, it doesn't take off. Well, I'm using the corner of my porch to take up the room, the space. The garden over here that's not even dug up yet, which we usually use, which I'll be digging up and putting probably some sunflowers or something in there. But uh, it take, that takes up a lot more area than this, so.